Morning, church. We are opening God's word and asking him to help us to be our teacher, to be our counselor, to be the wisdom that lives within us. And so at Open Arms, um, we've been starting going through the parables. And the last week or so, I've been trying to open up the word, word or logos with you and help you to understand how words uh, are containers for our thoughts. We stick them in there and then we hand them out to someone else. And so God is expressing through parables earthly stories that have heavenly meanings. And so the parable that I think is the best one to start out with is the parable of the sower. Um, chapter 13 of Matthew, it says, The same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the other people stood around on the shore. And then he told them many things by parables. So he's teaching them. And he's trying to explain things to some of them. And uh, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. The birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did ha not have much soil. It quickly sprang up because the soil was shallow. Verse 6, But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched. They withered because there was no root. Verse 7, Other seed fell among thorns and grew up and choked out the plants. Still others fell on good soil, and it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, and thirty times what was sown. He who has ears, let him hear. He who has ears, let him hear. In other words, some of you will hear it, but you're not going to understand it. Some of it is just going to escape you. You just won't get it. And that was the word... Put on the path. Jesus explains later that Satan comes along and he steals that word. So this is in uh, same chapter, chapter 13, uh, verse 18. Listen to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches it away, what was sown in his heart. This is the seed sown along the path. Satan comes and he steals it. He takes it away. There was this gift given to you, but Satan has come and stolen it. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what it says in another place. Uh, verse 20, the one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since he has no root, he lasts only a short time. He only believes just a little time and then it says trouble or persecution comes because of the word, he quickly falls away. Verse 22, the one who receives the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries and and the deceitfulness, uh, or excuse me, the worries of life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it and make it unfruitful. But the one who receives the seed that fell on the good soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. And he produces a crop yielding 160 and 30 times what was sown. We'll explain some more later. All God's people said, Amen.